to the Die Lunch Break. I'm Maddie Marshall. Cheers, everybody. Happy New Year's. I cheers you, Brandon, but yeah. you're unfortunately uh, not old enough to drink. <laughs> uh, we got Brandon Cornell here, uh, back from his uh, college first college experience, yep. and about to get started or started to get ready for the season here. Yep. First up, how is your shoulder? It's good. I've been going to physical therapy. I'm. Uh, I actually just finished it. I have maybe a maybe a week left, and uh, I have full rotation now. So. I'm ready like to go. Full rotation. Yeah, so I was at like 95% for a while, and then just that last 5% took a few weeks, and I'm good to go. I've been playing the snake the past few weekends. I feel playing good. The snake? Yeah. Uh, I'm not running and have diving you, I was in there. Say, have but you, are you, can you actually dive Once I thing? get in there, yeah, I can crawl on and everything. I feel really good. Nice. Yeah. So you just kind of healed like the Wolverine, essentially. <laughs> I don't know about that. It took a while, but yeah. <laughs> no, nah, well, I mean, you didn't have surgery that long ago. I mean, it has been a while. But well, you... I got surgery, and I played cup like five weeks after I got out of the sling. A week later, I was playing. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, you had to fight through that shoulder surgery all year long, mm -hmm. and uh, it was something that was kind of very admirable to watch, you know, for you to struggle through all that pain, but still, you mean, you played every tournament last year. Yeah, it was rough because, well, basically every tournament, I didn't think I was going to play, and then... I would put in all this work to get to my highest level, and I would get set back like a week before, two weeks before. So that was pretty rough. But and, and how hard was it mentally, you know, heading into this year? You're a highly touted rookie, and everyone was talking about how good Brandon Cornell is going to be and how well you were currently playing. And then to have this kind of disaster happen to you yeah. as you were just starting to fulfill your promise. Yeah, well, I mean, can't really change it now. I think I can only learn from it, and I'm ready to come out this year really strong. So heading into the 2016 season, uh, you know, you guys picked up Scotty Kemp. We yeah. did a lunch break with Scotty Kemp. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a big pickup for you guys. I, too. I think that, you know, that the depth that he adds, the experience he has is going to help you guys get to where you need to get faster, give you guys a little bit more options, yeah. consistent options over there. Do you see him playing on the D side with you? Do you think you're going to play the one over there? I mean, you know, with the way that the team's developing and the, and the, the depth they're starting to see out of some of that younger talent, because before... You guys had a lot of promise, but we're making tons of mistakes. Yeah. Now I've started to see individually in different points the, the game I was hoping to see develop yeah, out of certain People guys. are starting to find their position. They're starting to find their role. So talk to me about how you're feeling about this season. I'm feeling really good. So Scotty's a great pickup because he's a good two. He can play the one as well. He's been around for a long time, has tons of experience, like you were saying. So he can really fit into any role. Hopefully I can play the one again this year. I feel really good. So maybe on the snake side, the Dorito side, wherever the team needs me. Um, I know we lost Danny Nealon. He went back to his old team. Do you feel that being injured so much last season and having to, you know, rein back that aggression and having to, you know, kind of play with that two mentality? Because it's not like you can just, you know, slip through a lane real quick and dive into a spot. I mean, yeah. you really had to work your timing last yeah, season. Yeah, you have to think of it. <laughs> yeah, did you feel that that actually maybe in the long run now helped your game out? Yeah, for sure. Well, it made me evolve, like, playing the two position because I probably wouldn't have if I didn't hurt my shoulder. So it made me take a step back and see the game from a different angle. And, okay, so now talk to me about what do you think as far as what you saw out of the guys last year, who you feel has been working to try to earn those spots. I mean, again, you know, with, with, uh, with Toke and Ibarra yeah, and Vitalis really and yourself up. and obviously with the, the veterans Scout. now you have with Skemp and Mike Paxson who had a great yeah. end of the last season. I mean, it, it, this really kind of could be your guys' coming out season, and just yeah. depending on what you guys do and how you step up. But mm -hmm. when you start to kind of really break down each position, break down those players, their progression in the game, what are you thinking? Well, I think Scotty is an amazing pickup, but I think it's still on all of the players to step up. It's oh, not absolutely. one player is not going to change our team drastically. It's still on us to put in the work every weekend to get better as a team and come out there as a collective whole. I think uh, I think Jerry Caro is going to be a big standout this year. I think he's been putting in a lot of work this off season. He's definitely going to shine. I think Danny Abara is going to be good. Toe Camel, Mike Paxson, of course. You know, so I think we have a good team. Just talk to me about that mentality that you were really starting to develop at, at such a young age. Mm -hmm. Because when I look at your team, that's essentially what I see. A lot of young talent, guys that, you know, looking at what you guys did last season. Yeah. You made it to Sunday a couple times. You guys were beating some good teams and then losing to good teams, but losing by a couple points. Yeah. You were throw, building leads up on good teams, throwing those exactly. leads away. That's where the experience comes in. But that was the thing, is that you seem to be a guy that kind of grasps the, the mental... A discipline that you know the discipline between when should I attack when do I need to hold back when mm -hmm. is that move there when is it not do I need to open this movement myself that you know having that high level of paintball intelligence yeah. you had really started to develop that now I'm starting to see that you know flashes of brilliance from some of these younger guys do you think you guys can all get on the same page and finally you know coalesce into that you know that monster that is potentially there yeah I think we can because it was so frustrating because this past year 
every single time is usually the quarterfinals. We would lose to those really good teams, the Heat, the Impacts, the Dynasties, and it would always be the one-point matches. And it's not just a fluke because it happened almost every event to us. Yeah. So I think this is going to be the year. I think everyone's put in the work, and I think everyone's, like, grown mentally, for, and we've learned from our mistakes. So I think it's going to be good year for us well I'm, I'm stoked to see it man so <laughs> you know, first, first event is uh is coming up in a couple months yep. so thank you guys for tuning in to die lunch break we're gonna get to our food here it just got delivered and brandon uh thanks for making time yeah thank we'll, you for having me yeah no problem dude my pleasure <laughs> we'll see you guys next time